To the citizens of Russia, I am reaching out to you regarding a horrific, barbaric terrorist attack that has claimed the lives of numerous innocent individuals, including our compatriots, men, women, teenagers, and children. This act of violence has caused immeasurable pain and sorrow. Physicians are battling to save the lives of the wounded individuals, those who are presently in a critical state. I am certain they will do everything possible and even impossible to save the lives and health of all the wounded. Special words of gratitude to the crews of emergency medical services and medical aviation, to the fighters of special units, to the firefighters, to the rescuers who did everything to save people's lives, to get them out of the fire, out of the epicenter of the fire and smoke, to avoid even greater losses. I cannot ignore the help of ordinary citizens who, in the first minutes after the tragedy, did not remain indifferent and apathetic, and, along with doctors and special services employees, provided first aid and transported the injured to hospitals. We will provide the required aid to all individuals. Families who have endured a catastrophic tragedy in their lives will receive our assistance. For the wounded and injured, I offer my heartfelt and sincere condolences to all those who have lost their loved ones in this tragic event. The whole nation, the entirety of our population, mourns and grieves with you in this time of sorrow and loss. On the 24th day of March, I declare a day of national mourning. Additional anti-terrorism and counter-sabotage measures have been introduced in Moscow and the Moscow region in all regions of the country. The main thing now is not to let those who are behind this bloody massacre commit new crimes. Regarding the investigation of this crime and the outcomes of operational search activities, the following can be stated at this point in time. All four direct perpetrators of the terrorist attacks, all those who shot and killed individuals, have been located and apprehended. They tried to hide and moved towards Ukraine, where, according to preliminary data, a window for crossing the state border was prepared for them from the Ukrainian side. A total of 11 people have been detained. The Federal Security Service of Russia, other law enforcement agencies, are working on identifying and exposing the entire support base of terrorists, those who provided them with transportation, planned escape routes from the crime scene, prepared hiding places, caches with weapons and ammunition. I reiterate, the investigative and law enforcement agencies will do everything possible to establish all the details of the crime. But it is already obvious that we are faced not only with a carefully cynical planned terrorist act, but with a prepared and organized mass murder of peaceful, defenseless people. Criminals went to kill, shoot at point-blank range our citizens in a cold-blooded and purposeful manner. Our children, like the Nazis once did, carrying out executions in occupied territories, they intended to organize a public execution, a violent act of intimidation. All individuals involved in the perpetration, organization, and patronage of this crime will face fair and inevitable punishment, regardless of their identities or the individuals who direct them. I reiterate, we will identify and penalize all individuals who are responsible for the terrorists who orchestrated this crime, this attack on Russia, on our people. We know what the threat of terrorism is. We rely on interaction here with all states that genuinely share our pain and are prepared to truly unite efforts in the battle against the common enemy, international terrorism, with all of its manifestations and ramifications for global security. Terrorists, killers, inhuman individuals who have no and cannot have citizenship await one unenviable destiny, punishment and oblivion. They do not have any future. Our shared debt at this moment, our fellow fighters on the front line, all individuals residing in the nation, is to unite in a single formation. I have a strong belief that it will be so, because no one and nothing can shake or weaken our unity and will 
our unwavering determination and courage and the indomitable strength of the Russian people. No one will be able to sow poisonous seeds of discord, panic and discord in our multinational society. Russia has repeatedly gone through the most difficult, sometimes unbearable trials, but has become even stronger. So it will be now.